In my past switch layer tutorial, I showed the basics of it, how you can switch between sublayers. But the one thing I forgot to show was how to interpolate between different sublayers. And it's actually a pretty neat little trick you can use, especially if you plan to maintain the same points throughout your sublayers. So to get started, I have Anime Studio open, and I have a simple oval drawn, and I've applied some points to it though, to give it some more control basically. And right now, just with the translate points tool, I'm just gonna come in and move these points down like so, just so they meet the bottom portion here. And I might actually add one more point, just like that, to make sure everything works pretty good. Okay, so we basically have a really thin looking shape here, and I can even close it in further just to make it so that the red portion doesn't come in. So basically what we have here is what could appear to be a smiling mouth. Now, when you make your switch layer, which you can go to new layer, and switch, we can name it mouth, and then we can bring the vector layer that we just made into mouth, and then we can name this, let's just say closed, and then click OK. So once you have the switch layer and your vector layer is inside of it, what we can do is duplicate this layer by going up here and clicking duplicate layer and then we can name this open. Now zooming in, I can just come in here with the translate points tool and move the points up to make it look like the mouth is open. And we can lower the bottom points as well a little bit. Go like that and you can shape it however you wish. And again, this is a very basic example of this. So, same points, making up both layers. You have a closed and open instance. So now, what you could do, as I've shown before, is with the switch layer, you could go to frame one, and you could right click on that switch layer and choose closed, and then you could advance, let's say, to frame six, and right click and choose open. So it goes from close to open on the timeline at frame six. Now, if you want to create an animation so that it looks like it's actually physically animating from close to open, what you can do is double click on the switch layer and go to the switch tab and choose interpolate sub layers. Just check that box and then click apply or OK. So now between these two keyframes, you can see that it creates an animation. Now again, this is useful for many different things. Let's say you want to add more detail to your mouth movements. You could definitely now do that. It just wouldn't be a single switch. It would actually look like it's animating between the switches and it would basically scale the animation depending on how far your keyframes are. You could do anything from, let's say, a closed hand going to an open hand, and there are several other different little things you could do with this. The bottom line is you have to have the same points between the two sublayers or else it just won't work. So if you plan to use the same points between different sublayers, check it out. It might, uh, it might work out for you. So anyway, that wraps up this tutorial. If you are looking for more tutorials, you can visit my website, IncredibleTutorials.com. There I offer free tutorials on a wide range of subjects. There's also IncrediblePhiles.com, which offers premium lessons that are very extensive. And so if you're looking for a bit more, you can check out that website. And finally, I offer free webinars and one-on-one -on -one tutoring through IncredibleTutoring.com. So check that out as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.